All right, we're here with Western Washington, fresh off game one of the NCAA Division II Softball Championship Series. Coach, to open us up, can you please introduce your players and give us an opening statement? Yep, to my right, Lexi Barkham, junior left fielder, and to my left, Kanelehua Patoy, second baseman, also a junior. Um, opening statement, we'll go get them tomorrow. Um, UT Tyler is a great team. They did a great job. Um, we were hitting the ball. We started to put some at-bats together and started making some adjustments. Um, the balls just didn't fall. They played great defense. Their outfield covered a lot of ground, so hats off to them. Um, they wouldn't be here if they, they weren't a great team. Like I said, they play great defense, and they uh, seem to, you know, score their runners when they get on base. And so um, that's something we'll continue to make some adjustments and come out tomorrow. And like I told these guys after the game, it's not unlike us to take the tough road and <laughs> to play as many games as possible. Um, and so we're ready for it and uh, excited about the opportunity tomorrow to compete for a national championship. Yeah, Coach, your team took some strides here. Obviously, this is the second time seeing UT Tyler at this tournament. Close game here today. You guys were able to hold them to strand 10 runners on base. Talk a little bit about the toughness and the grit of your defense and your pitching staff to uh, force a tough team into not scoring when they could have. For sure, yeah. And that's kind of been the cornerstone of, of how we've gotten to this point is our pitching and our defense and our ability to leave runners on base and our pitcher's ability to get tougher when there's runners on. And um, that seems to be kind of the MO as they get on. And, uh, I mean, it happened even yesterday, the day before yesterday, where we get getting bases loaded and, and getting out of those jams. And so that's just kind of what they do. And, again, that's what allowed us to get here. But for us, the pitching and defense is the most controllable part of the game. And so we pride ourselves on that. And then uh, we know that we'll start to make adjustments and the hits will start to fall. Connie, a couple of hits for you up at the top of the lineup. You were getting on base, giving your team a chance against uh, a really talented pitcher on the other side. What were you seeing well as the ball was coming out of her hand today? Um, well, my goal was just to attack early and uh, – hopefully just beat her to the ball and I knew that they'd fall eventually and everyone was making enough contact to keep me going and making sure that I have like the um well how do I say this they just kept me energized <laughs> and I knew my team would help eventually hit me in but um hopefully tomorrow will come up on top well Lexi you guys have already come through and won two games in a single day against a really tough opponent how are you getting focused and getting ready and, and excited to come out and attack tomorrow well, we've been here before, so it's nothing new for us. Um, I think we just got to rest up, rehydrate, uh, focus on what we need to do, and we'll be fine going out there. Coach, you had a couple of special visitors in the stands today that flew all the way. Uh, tell us about your recent alumni that came down here and how that speaks to the culture of the program that you've developed at Western. Yeah, I mean, our alumni are amazing. And so to see so many alumni show up for this and to fly across the country, it's not like – they're just jetting down to California or something like that. For them to all come together and fly across the country to, to support us and to surprise us is pretty special. And I had tears in my eyes when I saw them and tears in my eyes every time I hear, heard them up there. And so um, to have that support means everything. And we've had it all year long. We had a whole alumni. The Hill was filled with alumni at our GNAC championships. And they came out in regionals and super regionals. And uh, it's so cool to see them here. And it's not the easiest place to get to from Seattle. And so for them to figure that out and <laughs> make it here, I think it was a, probably a couple red eye flights. And um, just just love their s love and support for us. Um, and it means a lot to us. It means a lot to our players. Um, but we're just we couldn't do it without them. And they helped build this. So they helped get us here for sure. Well, Coach, speaking of fans, I've been uh, watching and smiling as Joey's been having the broccoli going all week <laughs> yes. this week. you want to <laughs> tell us a little bit about the broccoli? Yes. So back home, we have Broccoli Guy who comes to our games. Uh, he was a new fan for us this year, and he has his broccoli, um, and he dances with the broccoli. And he was there for Gene X, regionals, super regionals, so he became kind of our good luck charm. Um, he couldn't make it out to Florida, and so Allie's brother, Joey, uh, took over as broccoli guy for him and that's why we got the broccoli in the stands and I think Joey's doing a pretty good job representing him down in Florida for sure. Lexi, in this NCAA run, your team is 7-0 in elimination games. As players, what do you talk about in the resiliency, resiliency excuse me, in your mind when you're not around your coaching staff and know you have the confidence to go out there and win an elim elimination game? You know, um, I think we just play loose. So we focus on um, what's in front of us and what's happening in the moment rather than what just happened. Um, we we just know that uh, we can string s stuff together. We've come back from six nothing deficits. Um, so just don't count us out. Like we know that we can come back and we know that we can win. And then coach for you, 10-1 yeah. the first game against this team. Today 3-0. What did you take away from the first game that was successful for you this game 
what can you take away from this game for tomorrow? Yeah, good question. Um, I think the 10-1 game was just a really uncharacteristic day for our, our team in general. Um, and so I think what we took away from it is we just needed to, to move on um, and, and kind of control what was right in front of us. And that was the three opportunities of winning those three games to get us here. Um, and also, we, we knew going in to play UT Tyler, they're a great team. And we knew that coming into today. Um, I think the biggest thing as we move into tomorrow is just our ability to make some adjustments at the plate. Um, and kind of take what the pitcher's given us instead of trying to do something too much with, with what we're not getting. Um, and so, yeah, I, I think we're excited uh, for the opportunity. But these guys have made adjustments every single every single time we've come out. You know, you saw it yesterday. It, was it the day before yesterday? <laughs> I don't know what day it is. <laughs> Against you, Indy, um, you know, facing the probably the best pitcher in the country where we had those 12 innings where it was tough to score. You know, we, we scored first kind of on an error, and then we, we got a couple hits, and then we come out uh, a couple hours later and, and put three in the first inning or four in the first inning. And so um, we know we can do it. We know we can do it against, against great pitching, which is what UT Tyler has. Um, you know, we'll show up tomorrow and make some adjustments and get after it. Well, ladies, one more day of the softball season. Get some rest tonight, and we look forward to seeing you leave it all out there tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Go Vikes. Thank you.